Hi, my name is Carlos Rivera. I'm the Global Product Specialist of FIFLO in DHI. And in this tips and tricks session, I would like to discuss with you some topics about 3D and structural meshes with FIFLO using a geological model. This session today is a series of different presentations that we start developing some weeks ago about different workflows for working with 3D and structured meshes with FIFLO. In our first session, we discuss about the interactive use of the 3D layer configurator. In the second session, we discuss updating, modifying existing 3D model domain by means of the meshing panel in FIFLO. And today we are going to keep using the meshing panel in FIFLO, but this time we will use a 3D geological model to to create a full and structured mesh with the software. The main idea to integrate a geological model, in this slide we have example of Intrepix Geophysics Geomodeler 3D. The main idea is to use as much as possible the information available already in the geological model. This information is used to constrain the creation of the mesh. This mesh generation requires multiple parameters like locations of faults, special surfaces, which could be the contacts of different geological units, etc. During the meshing process, there is also the chance to migrate existing data available in the 3D geological model, like material properties, geological IDs, and others. In this concept, we use a 3D super mesh. A 3D super mesh is not more than a triangulated set of surfaces which could be geological contacts, dikes, or faults, fractures, set of points, polylines, etc. As mentioned before, we will use the meshing panel. The meshing panel has different settings which will allow us to control the resulting 3D full and structure mesh, like the quality resolution, if there are internal and external boundaries to be preserved, and a special set of node generation. During the meshing process, the user has the possibility to decide what pipe part of information from the geological model could be and should be saved in the resulting finite element mesh. For example, if the geological model contains information about geological volumes classified by any kind of ID, this information can be used automatically in FIFLO to build elemental selections. If the input geological model has some fractures or faults defined or conceptualized by 2D surfaces, this information can be stored as a phase selections. This allows us the easy manipulation or assignment of properties into these elements later. Today we support multiple geological models for the operations in FIFLO, starting from 3D modeler, GMOD format, GoCut, ML and TS formats, leak from mesh files, LFM, and might say working with the Excel files. At the same time, the user is also um, can also import different standard file formats like 3D shed files, Autodesk, 3DS, AutoCAD files, etc. And of course, meshing files from the mesh generator, tech gen, and from triangle mesh generator. Here you have an example of clipped tetrahedrons of a fully structured mesh, the one that we are going to do in the second part of this video, and this is the fully mesh. The mesh generator that we use behind the scenes is called tech gen. It's a mesh generator developed by the Bias Institute in Berlin, and this mesh generator requires or utilize the concept of a piecewise linear complex, PLC. In simple words, a PLC defines the set of lines, segments, points, vertices, surfaces, polygons, which contain the whole information in 3D. A PLC is well defined, which where all of the pieces of this PLC are fitting perfectly. You have two examples here on the middle side on the right image where we have the problem of self-intersection. Let's say you are simulating an underground pipe. This could be a tunnel, could be an underground mine geometry, which is intersected with a fold, in this case the triangle. The intersection between the line and the plane 
geometrically speaking is defined by a point. This point is not defined in the in the two elements, therefore the smash generator will consider this as a problem and name it self-intersection. The correct way will be to set a point in the middle of the surface and connect this point to the three vertices of the triangle. In the right side we have the case, probably this could be a geological contact intersected by a fault. The intersection of the two surfaces is a line, the line needs to be prescribed in the input data from the two polygons. Here you have example of a PLC of a two layers domain and here we have three layer system. This is example exported from Likfro. On the right side you have the created 3D super mesh in FIFLO and you have the resulting mesh on the right side in FIFLO and the cuts in the geological model in Likfro. The problem of self-intersection typically happens by in cases where you have different discretizations level coming from the geological software. Here you have a clear F problem where there is a coarse triangulation on the, applied on the geological contacts, but there is a very fine triangulation in the inclined and vertical surfaces, which could be representing faults or fractures. Here we zoom and we can see clearly the problem of the self-intersection, the two surfaces not matching exactly. Let's start with the demonstration exercise. We have FIFLO 7.4. Let's create a new project, file new, define the auction, fully 3D, full in structure 3D mesh. Next, FIFLO asks us to choose the option of import, super mesh import from maps. And then we define the location of the files. I will take one of the examples that we use in our standard training course in DHI. We have a uh, Alps geological model extension Gmod. This is a file exported from GeoModeler 3D. After pressing OK, FIFA is going to recognize immediately the number of polygons, 115. We can decide now if we would like to sort the information from these polygons using a specific attribute. The best way to identify the type of attributes is to click in Show Map table, and you will see GeoModeler brings certain information about the type, geological ID 1 and 2. I would like to group the surfaces by the attribute type. The next steps, I would like to store possible elements created in each of these surfaces by a region marker or region ID. So I import a file, it's a point file data, I have coordinates x, y, z, this is a marker, it's a region and an ID, and a volume. This volume could be used later for constraining the size of the elements inside of a specific sub-region of the geological model. Being this a point file, TechGen allow me to four different types of points, region markers, whole markers, points, at ends, and costumes. Region marker means if there is a closed volume defined by a set of surfaces, out of these 115 that we imported in the previous step. And if there is a point, which is region marked inside this closed volume, FIFLO is going to take these elements and group them with a specific attribute. Whole market is similar, but at the end of the process, it will eliminate these elements and create a whole. Point at in basically just add one additional node to the mesh. And costume is a combination of all the above ones. Let's take region markers and Max volume, we leave it empty for now and define a grouping by attributes and I would like to store based on the regions. If you are done with the different steps in the super mesh, if you don't require additional file, you can just simply press finish and FIFLO is going to build the 3D super mesh. This is the 3D super mesh, the different classifications or grouping that we have defined before are available in the view components panel but also in the meshing panel. I will move to the meshing panel and in the meshing panel define a maximum approximate number of elements, so 10 to the 5. This number of elements will give me, will control the final discretization of the mesh. I could also play with constraints like volume, global tetrahedron volume constraint minus a, at this moment is zero. There is no constraint, so TechGen will use some quality criterions and 
using this approximate number of elements will end up with a final total number of elements. Now we generate the mesh. You can press also Ctrl G or press the engine in the meshing panel. TechGen is running and it will take a couple of seconds to finish the mesh. The mesh is finished, it's completed. So let me maximize the 3D view. We have the full and structure mesh. I can notice now there is no layers in this model. If I go to the selections panel, I will nicely see that I have stored multiple elemental selections corresponding to the different regions that we contain in the, in the super mesh. We also have some face selections which corresponds to the surfaces that we group by attributes by the attribute types in the in the mesh in, pro, in the super mesh process. So let me remove this the faces and now I will see the different surfaces. These are the surface type geological interface. This corresponds to the contacts between the different geological units available in the input file. We have reached the end of this tips and tricks session today. If you would like to get more information about FIFLO in general, tips and tricks, use of the software applications and others, join our community by visiting our landing page www.mypowerbydhi.com products slash FIFLO. Thank you for listening and until the next time. Bye.